Hello my floss tube friends and welcome. I am Lisa and this is my channel Cross by Floss where I hope to share my love of cross stitch with you and that you share your love of cross stitch with me through your comments or messages or um, you know uh, emails whatever. Um, I, I love I love hearing them and yes I do have comments to get through and that is something I'm hoping to get to this weekend so um, anyways, I am so happy that you are here today. Today is April 12th, which is Friday, and it is actually my birthday. And while this is episode 70, I am not 70. Oh my gosh, if I look this good at 70, I would be real happy. <laughs> but it is my birthday, and I thought, what a better thing than um, spending it with my floss tube friends. So, um... So yeah, today, let's see, uh, I did do a stitch and sip with me video uh, just last week, I think it was. It wasn't that long ago. Um, it is a very long one. There's lots to catch up on. And if you are interested in life blabbings, that's, that's where um, I'm going to continue doing a stitch and sip with me videos and get the life blabbings and and funny stories and all of that in there so um i did that one not too long ago so this video is filled with some finishes some haul um of course some haul uh some stitchy kindness some gifty giveaways um what else whips of course whips and i think that might be it oh a shout out a floss tuber shout out or spotlight on a on a stitcher i think i call it um what else do i do i feel like that's it so um first i would like to start with some stitchy kindness i received the sweetest gift from a fellow floss tuber and she is just like seriously the sweetest and she sent this adorable card oh my gosh it was really sweet and um and she sent this pattern and I had been looking for this pattern for a while it is um, Eve by La Di Da and uh, she she's hard to find and um, and so she sent this to me and so Thank you so much. And because it is my birthday today, this is actually going to be my birthday start. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. I'm kidding it up or have kitted up in the DMCs. I don't remember what, what, uh, fabric I'm using. I have it kitted up in my bedroom. So, um, so thank you so much. You know who you are and, um, and I love it and I can't wait to start it today. So, um, I just thought that that was so sweet. And, you know, um, I also get, you know, cards and, um, you know, just, uh, just like little random cards in the mail and like thinking of you or, you know, just like just a note and um, also like birthday cards and St. Patty's Day and Easter and that. And uh, like, thank you so much. Those mean the world to me. And, um, and I love them. I love seeing a little, a little mail. I think we all do like seeing a little mail in our, in our, um, stuff, don't we? Okay. So, uh, let me go and we are going to do finishes. So, um, on 12 by 12, I had done 12, uh, individual charts that came out of this book here, which is called the smalls words of wisdom, a Com compendium of needlework projects. And this was in the red box from Nicola Parkman of, um, hands across the sea. And, um, I just thought for, uh, new year's Eve, 12 by 12, it was perfect because there were 12 projects in here. So, um, each, each, uh, hour for 45 minutes, I would work on a chart and, um, and, you know, got a little bit done. And then when I was on my trip to go see the little, I finished this one here. 
and that was that was so exciting i did it on a 16 count haunted ada by uh picture this plus is that right yes picture this plus and there's my finish i just did this in a crew um dmc and it's a finish i'm so thrilled to have one done i do have later on in the whips i do have a few more um or another one that i have started some more on <laughs> so you'll see this book again but that was pretty that was pretty awesome i think i did that one possibly in late february possibly i finished that um, the other one I don't actually have in my hands because it is being FFO'd right now. And um, actually, it's already done. I took it into my um, framer, the wonderful Paula, over at Craft Gallery in Ohio. And um, she did an, a beautiful, she sent me the pictures and they're beautiful. But I will insert a picture here of the finish um so it is the Lottie Da um Margaret Cottom age 9 and I got that finished. So I was so excited to finish her and um now that third part is going off to its new owner and she will be able to finally stitch the third part. <laughs> I'm sure she's going to be absolutely thrilled to be able to do that. <laughs> um, so that, that, did I do any other finishes? No, I don't think so. I think that those were the two finishes. I have another one that's really, I have a couple that are close-ish, but not, not quite there. In fact, honestly, I haven't seen you guys since January and it is now April. And really, I did not get a lot of stitching done in that time um and so to have some some stitching done was great so um anyways okay so i have a couple of new starts so let's get those so the first start i did i actually tried to do a stitch and sip with me video at the end of march and um, so I did it, I did the start, I did all the things, and I went back to edit it, and I just, I, I just wasn't in it, and so, um, uh, mentally there, and so it just was not a great video, and so, um, so it's just ended up being a new start, and I believe I started this on March 31st, uh, it's Rabbit's Garden by Subrosa. I've had this for a really long time. Like I think she, she released it in 2017. So I've had it for a while. I'm pretty sure she released it in 2017. I mean, I don't know why 2017 would be on the bottom if she didn't. Um, yes, copyright 2017. Um, so I started that one and this is done on a piece of color and cotton, 16 count marzipan. And let's see here. Did not get a whole, oh my gosh, my needle is in there. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I needed my board. Oh goodness, okay. Sorry, pause please. <laughs> That's what I got done. Uh, I started in the middle. No, did I? Uh, yes, I did. I started in the middle and I got part of the egg. And that's really all I got done. But it is a really nice stitch. And honestly, I am going to, I think it's only really going to need half this fabric. So I'm going to have another half um, to play with, which is nice because normally... I don't, I don't always like remember to, um, I just, especially if I do a middle start, I'll do a middle start in the middle of my fabric. And this time I actually measured it all out and, and figured it all out and, and hopefully it's going to go right, right where it needs to so that I have lots left over to potentially do another piece. So that's fun. 
All right, and then the second one is what I actually did the stitch with me, stitch and sip with me, and it's actually called Sit and Stitch by Little House Needleworks, and it's chart number 190. And it's just such a cute pattern. It says, by the ocean, on the beach, under stars I cannot reach, in a car and on a plane, also on a railway train. I can stitch most anywhere, but really love my easy chair. And that was, that was fun. So I started up here, because that was the center, and then I went down three inches and um, worked a little on either side while I chit-chatted. This is done on a 16 count Ada. And if you're new here, um, I am an Ada girl. And so I stitch mainly on Ada. And that's what I got done. After the stitch with me, I was, I still, you know, wanted to do a couple more. Um, I wanted to keep stitching. I didn't want to put this down. And so uh, I did a little bit more in here. So this is done on Light Fiddler's Ada, 16 counts. Charles Craft in the tube. And this is actually a piece of fabric I got at a thrift store for 99 cents. I bought a whole load of them. I was pretty excited. So that's what I got done on that one. And really, I think that this is going to be an easy stitch. So, and it is done in all the called for is it called for? No, I'm doing them in DMC with the exception of the words. So this chart is done in classic color works and, um, and I just don't see much variegation in a lot of this in here, but I definitely see the variegation in the words and the words are sticks and twigs. And so I'm going to get the classic color works sticks and twigs and do that for that piece. And, um, and I think it's gonna look fantastic. It looks beautiful on this fabric so far. The colors really are nice. So, so those were my new starts. Let's go on to whips. Okay, like I mentioned, this book has come out again, The Smalls. And this one I worked on, which is uh, called Politeness. And this is a really pretty one and um, such an easy count. And so, hmm, okay, whoops. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna put a picture up before of what it looked like before, but essentially I just had this done. And so I got another one done. Um, and it's just like little shamrock hearts, very cute. Well, hearts and a shamrock. Um, it's just really, really pretty. And the chart says politeness costs little but yields much. And um, I just think that that's really pretty. This is done on a random piece of uh, Ada. I believe it's 16 count. Um, just from my stash of like little, little pieces that I pick up here and there um, might have come from a, uh, grab bag um, from either Be Stitch Me or Color and Cotton or it could be remnants off of something um, just random just random pieces really um, so nothing really has a name but this one I am doing with Weeks Dye Works Red Louisiana Hot Sauce I just thought that it looked really good on this on this fabric I almost want to say that this is like chocolate Milk chocolate, mm, milk chocolate maybe? I don't remember. But anyways, um, most of the 12 by 12s that I did were done on just random pieces of paper. Paper, <laughs> random pieces of fabric. Oh, I was really distracted. I live really close to the, um, to the hospital. And so a lot of times we will hear the ambulances, fire trucks, uh, life flight, um, all that happening here. So the next piece that I got 
a little work done on was Plum Street Samplers Cinnamon Stars. I'm so sorry for the glare. Um, I just, like, I want to get this done. I've had this probably since 2019. I've been working on this. So that's ridiculous. <laughs> Um, I will put up a picture of the before of what it looked like if I have one. And that's where I am now. She's getting there. What did I work on? What did I work on? Huh. Hopefully it shows it in the picture. Because <laughs> I don't remember. Um... Yeah, anyways, and this is done on a piece of, good question, it's a piece of, I don't know, it's a piece of something. Very nice, Ada, I love it. So, I'm gonna assume I worked on this because it's been, it was in my, my whip stash, so. This also, I, I'm questioning myself now, but this also was in my whip basket, meaning that I worked on it. Then again, I'm in a little bit of chaos, so what, what is new? Um, but this is Little House Needleworks Spot of Coffee, but there's uh, two patterns in here, Spot of Coffee or Spot of Tea. And I've already finished the Spot of Coffee for myself, and then I'm doing this spot of tea for my mom. I feel like I've done something on this as well. And if not, well, you get to see it again. <laughs> that is so sad. I want to say I finished these words. I don't know. I don't know. I might be just a fibbing all over the place. It's just because I wanted to hang out with you guys on my birthday. These I know I worked on. So um, this one is Blackbird Samplers. Blackbird Designs, sorry. The Light Upon the Lawn. I have had this by my bed for literally a month. With the intention of just doing some stitching every evening. And it hasn't happened. I just, I look at it and I'm like, meh. And uh, I just don't get to it. And so, let me put in a before picture. And this is where I am now. So I know for sure I have worked down here. And so I got this little guy in here and I worked on, those are daisy stitches, lazy daisies. Oof, I'm struggling with those, but because they're not nice and open, and but it's okay. Um, they're getting better each each one I do. Um, so yeah, but that's that's really, and I feel like maybe I finished up a bit more and like actually finished this flower. I think. Um, but that's that's what's been sitting beside my bed and really I would love to get this one done and have it framed and um this is a piece that I was doing for my grandma my grandma's birthday is May 1st I should get it done by May 1st we're in April 12th right I should get it done for May 1st that's my goal um so that one is done I have a lot of room. Oh, sorry. I don't have a lot of room here. Okay, and then the last one, the, my last whip that I have to show you. I feel like I have others. This can't be all. It's been a long time. And so my memory, not so good. Um, April's Blue Diamond. And this is one that I do for Mirror Monday Stitching. And um, hashtag Mirror Monday Stitching on Instagram. And I really was hoping that I would get this done for in April. And that's not going to happen. Um, I just did not get the work in that I hoped that I would. 
because there was a lot of weeks, honestly, that there was just no stitching. And many weeks that I even didn't do Mirror May. So, not Mirror May, Mirror Monday, goodness sakes. But let me put in a before picture. And then this is what she looks like now. Um, it's been a while, but I did for this Monday, and it was a very short amount of stitching I got done because we did go to see the eclipse, the totality, and um, and I can't stitch in the car, I get car sick, and um, so what little stitching I had when we got home is what I got done, and I wanna say I did these greens, and possibly that one there. So not a whole lot, but there has been some progress since you've last seen it, I hope. <laughs> So those are my finishes, starts, and whips. All right, now let me clean this up and then we will go on to, actually we will do the gifty giveaways. These are um, from the last two videos. So unfortunately, L uh, underscore justice or L slash justice did not get a hold of me um, back in January when I yes January when I um, had the winner and for this pattern and so I spun again because um, I feel like you know two and a half almost two and a half months um, I haven't heard anything and so I re redrew for this pattern here which was the lavender and lace enchanted alphabet and the word was girl and congratulations to gemstone stitches 7632 again gemstone stitches 7632 so if you will email me at the email um provided down in the um you know, the, my box, my description box, um, I will, and, and say which pattern you won, um, I will get this off to you. Um, or you can Instagram me as well. Both those, both those, that information will be down below. So, um, gemstone stitches 7632. Congratulations. And then on my last actual video, which was uh, 69, I had three patterns that I was um, gifty giving away, and um, and so I drew those names today. And so for the bird, it is Lisa Boban, L I S A B O B A N. Congratulations, Lisa! Same thing. If all of you who win uh, could just let me know which chart you won, and then. Um, and get in touch with me either by email or Instagram, that would be awesome. So congratulations. Um, the Prairie Schooler, which the word was banned, and it is stitch underscore therapist. So congratulations, stitch underscore therapist. And my two ducks from Rosewood Manor was Tracy Daly Daly 6980. So Tracy Daly 6980. And I am so sorry if I butchered anybody's name. There are days that I am lucky that I remember my own. <laughs> All right. So that is those gifty giveaways. And if you stay till the end of the video, there may be a few more. All right. So on to the haul. Oh my gosh, and this is in no order whatsoever, except what I can reach and where I'm going to go. So uh, stash unload. I, I have now, I've stopped. I'm not on it anymore. I'm not buying anything, um, except maybe at retreats or whatever. But, um, or, you know, when I go to my LNS for certain things, but uh, uh, stash unload, I have to stay off of. But I found this birds of the, f birds of a feather chart. And it is just called love, but it is super cute. 
and it was a pretty good price. So I purchased that and, oh, I hope I don't, don't get um, all discombobulated. Yes, I know what the word is. It's how we say it in my family. <laughs> all right, also on Stash Unload, I think it was on the Stash Unload group before I got myself off. There was a lady who was selling some finished pieces for a friend and they were not a lot of money, you guys, like just incredibly, like she was selling them for darn close to nothing. Um, and so I picked up a couple, every time I went on, they were always gone and I'm like, darn it. Um, cause there were some nice things. And so I got, and I have no idea what the charts were or anything like that. They just came as finished pieces. So I wish I had a little white here, a little white cord. Ugh. okay, well, they're stuck together. That's still not gonna work. <laughs> there we go, really pretty. So whatever chart this is, I love this. And I'm gonna see if I can actually get like an arched frame that this would go in. Um, I know. Um, home goods had a whole load of them. Then there was this piece here. And I just thought that it was really pretty. This would make a great, like, I think that there's enough. I hope that there's enough, um, that somebody talented could put it into a pillow. I thought this was a perfect pillow. So I thought that was really pretty. And then this one I had to get just on principle because it is the Canadian dime and a sailboat. Oh, let's see if I can put this this way. Wow, struggling. I think I never did a video before. So, I mean, just beautifully stitched. And this was just so cool. I'm gonna put this in my laundry room, even though like I have nothing in there that but quite a few of like kind of Canadian pieces are down there. And um, I just thought that it is pretty cool. So that came off of Stash Unload. And, um, and again, like I said, this lady was selling these pieces for her friend and they were just not a lot of money at all. Shipping was really reasonable. And I was like, oh, I, I can't leave them. So, I got those. Then I have my of the month things. So I'm still in Brandy V Stitch Me's fabric of the month. And this one was February's, I believe. Vanilla latte. I believe that was February's. Vanilla latte. Just a really nice neutral. These are fantastic for samplers. Just beautiful. And then the next one was Gold Rush. Also, also a really pretty, oh my gosh, that glare, there we go. Um, a really pretty, there's so many things that I can think to put this on. It's just really, really beautiful. And then uh, Garon Toten Bags, I am still part of the Garon Toten Bags. I love them. And every every time he comes out with, you know, the, the bag of the month and I keep thinking, oh, before they come, I'm, I'm like, I really should stop. Like literally I have a tote full of project bags that I can fill, but I have a I, I have a boatload and um, at some point the hope is is that you finish the projects and you won't need the bag anymore, right? Yeah, so <laughs> at some point I am going to need to give it up, but I just can't right now. So because every time a new bag comes, they're so luscious and I love them. But this was Marta's with the gnomes. I mean, I couldn't. The St. Patrick Day gnomes, come on. And then the inside fabric, this really beautiful, just green check, just perfect. Just a lovely, lovely bag. I just, I love that, love it. And with all the red beards and the girl with her pigtails, come on, super cute. And then this is April's which is just really pretty. And then on the inside are these cute little rabbits. 
and then because it's my birthday month, um, Gary, Ronnie puts in a birthday bag. So a little, a little accessory bag and, um, like their attention to detail and just customer service is just really, that's why I continue with them. <laughs> just love them. And then, um, it's been a while. Oh my gosh, where did I put these things? Sorry. Um, it's been a while, but I went up to a spur of the moment and it really was kind of a spur of the moment. Uh, Paula and Carlton had been, you know, uh, posting on Facebook that they were having a, uh, Super Bowl party sale. And I was like, oh, I really would like to go because their sales are fantastic. And, um, I mean, they're giving away things. <laughs> Literally, this stuff is so cheap. And so I was, I had just finished Margaret Cottom, age nine. In fact, I finished it the night before. And I was like, uh, so I went on Saturday and um, the day before Super Bowl in February. So it's been a while since I went, but uh, you know, I picked up some things. So I dropped off a few pieces for her to, to frame, one of them being Margaret Cotton. The other one was not stitched by me. Um, it was a rescue and she reframed it for me. So, um, and again, she sent me pictures and has done a lovely job, but I've not had a chance to get on out there. Um, I'm kind of hoping maybe I can go tomorrow, but I do have, anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, but I picked up a bunch of things. So the non-sale things, these are what I bought. Uh, I just bought a few um, classic color works hickory sticks came back in and so I got a few skeins of those because I was did not have them and then I picked up a cupid sampler by um, with uh, with thy needle and thread which is Brenda Gervais and so I picked up this pattern because I do have a son who was born on Valentine's Day and I just thought this was really, really sweet and somewhere I will put his name. Um, and then I kitted it up with a um, dinky dyes silk that I think will go really cool with some nice fabric that I will figure out in my stash. So I got that and I think that that was all, is that all? that I bought that was non, non, um, sale related. So then the sales, I mean, you guys, like Carlton puts a sale together, right? And, um, so Paula doesn't even know. Sometimes she goes on in there and she's like, I didn't even know, but like the, he, all the extra cuts of fabric, um, he puts it half off and, uh, so I did buy some fabric, which is all not here. Anyway, um, I bought some fabric. Of course I did, because why wouldn't I? But I found this cute little postcards from the heart. Um, who is this? From Summer House Stitch Works. And it's called Summer House. Super cute little, little postcard. I want to say these were like a dollar. So I got that and then I got all three and uh, I may have these already, but I got all three of the Lizzie Kate Spirit of Christmas mystery sampler. And like I said, I may actually have this. I don't remember, but um, it came with the, with the accessory pack and you guys like, oh man, these were so cheap. Like it, it was so cheap. It was, yeah, crazy cheap. <laughs> then I got this Bent Creek Puppy Dog Row. How cute is that? All oh, those little puppy dogs. That's super cute. Um, Girls in Blue Dresses by Mary Wind Farm. Okay, I have a thing about the ladies. I love them, like the girls. I just think that these are just so cute. And I think I'm going to do a girl wall in um, 
what would have been the spare bedroom, which is now going to be my sewing room. That's a story for a stitch and sip. But um, basically I'm changing out a couple of rooms. And uh, so I think a, a girl wall, or maybe the girl wall will go in the library. Who knows? I don't know. But I love these. These are super cute. And um, there's a DMC conversion on there. So pretty cool. And then I don't, I've never owned any of these, but my friend Amy talks about these a lot. So the Passion Ricamo, Ricamo, uh, this is Calypso. I just thought she was really, really pretty. And like, seriously, it was like $3 or a dollar or something. It was, it was so cheap. So it's like, huh? But look at this DMC list. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, it's huge. Anyway, um, I got Tree of Life Samplings, Penny Prim's Summer. I thought that's, this one was really cute. Super cute. Lucy Beam Love in Stitches Rabbit House. I thought that was adorable. Like, come on. Super cute. My Lady's Needle Peaceful Christmas. That would be a cute little, um, oh, sorry for the glare, a cute little ornament. And then the trilogy Domes of Doom Haunted Heads. <laughs> I'm going to do this super small and make that into a, um, into a ornament. That was the word ornament as well. And then, uh, they had this whole Dimensions Ballerina Beauty Kit. And literally, it was like in the dollar cart. And I was like, yes, please. Maybe it was a $5 cart. Anyways, it was cheap, you guys. It was so cheap because it's all kitted up. It's got all the things. And my daughter was a ballerina. And I don't know that I will actually stitch this. But every time I look at this, this every time I've seen it, I'm like, it just reminds me of my daughter. So maybe, maybe one day. I don't know. And then um, Carlton's so cute. He is so sweet. So I had these two. And this is the Lizzie, Lizzie Kate um, Holly and Hearts Mystery Sampler Club. But I could only find part one and part two. I couldn't find part three. So we threw them in my bag. And I was like, you know, I'll go put these back because I couldn't find part three. And he just sticks them in my bag. He is so sweet. Honestly, Paula and Carlton, like if you ever get or live in Ohio, near Finley, Ohio, um, like for me, it's a two and a half, almost a two and a half hour drive. Well, really the way I drive is a little less, but there's some stops along the way. So it's about two and a half hours. And, um, and I, I will make that trip in a day. I just, you know, it's five hours round trip kind of deal. And, <clears throat> excuse me, they are just, they are the sweetest people. Um, just the sweetest people. So I will continue going on out there and um, giving them my money. <laughs> and then they were selling this Alone Elma Lane box. absolutely nothing wrong with it like not a thing wrong with it and I want to say it was 50% off or something it was yeah and it's got the little tray inside and mm, it smells delicious and uh, I just I could not pass it up and so I bought that too oops so that was my trip out to um, which also, I feel like I picked up some finished pieces from her. Oh man, I am really not organized. I think I picked some, up some of my finishes. <laughs> I don't remember. How awful is that? If I do remember it, I'll put them in my next video along with the ones that I will pick up from her. So, um that 
oh no, that was not all. See, I had more, I had more. And then they had like this little bin. So I got there, they open on Thursdays, Thursdays through Saturday. So they already had, you know, their sale Thursday and Friday. So goodness knows what other great things that they had that already left. But there were a couple of finishes that were there. And again, not a lot of money. And it's, it's a complete finish, like it's all finished. And it says, I'd rather be stitching. I thought it was so cute. So I picked it up. I thought that was so cute. And then, darn it, this little ta-da Santa <laughs> with the little Christmas balls. Come on, that's adorable. Um, and completely finished. So, yeah, and again, I, I want to say they were like a dollar. <laughs> yep. So... Um, that's what I bought from, check around me, from Craft Gallery. So like I said, if you are ever up in Ohio and passing through and Finley can be on your list, highly recommend. They are only open certain days, so you got to check, but it's typically Thursday through Saturday. Um, and they're, uh, they've got a wonderful gal in there, Patty, who, um, you know, uh, pretty much like cats the fabric and helps you out. And she is lovely. I love Patty. And, uh, like I said, Paul and Carlton, wonderful people, wonderful people. All right. Let's see what else I have on my thing. So, um, I don't know who I was watching, but they were showing their LaHaye's box and, um, I happened to, like, I happened to go on the website and he was taking pre-orders, um, for a certain style of box. And I was like, yes, please. Knowing that it would take a while for the, you know, it's a pre-order and he makes every single one of them by hand. Um, and he paints them and, uh, you know, does all the finishing, all the things. And so each one of them is going to take some time. So knowing that it was going to take some time and I am totally good with that, I ordered one. So this is the little thank you, um, but LaHaye's, that's who he is. And his name is Robert. And I um, messaged him and he is a lovely man and um, customer service fantastic. This is the box I got. Is that not gorgeous? I love it. I love it. So uh, in the green, I love greens. Oh my gosh. That little gopher's back and he's not little. He's huge. Mm. Anywho. Oh, and it smells so good. Mm. Anyways, it's gorgeous. Um, stamped on the bottom. It's, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. There is not a mar on this thing. It is smooth as smooth can be. I love this. So I own my first LaHaye's um, and definitely will not be my last, though it will be a while before I um, order one. But this came last month and uh, yeah. So, I mean, there, I would not say that they're for the quality of workmanship and the beauty of what they are. I would not say that they are expensive, but they are, they are pricey, right? So, uh, depending on where you would like to spend your, your dollars, um, but owning that box and, and having it by a stitch chair or even by my sewing, um, I, I love it. So, and then the last the last piece of haul I actually just bought for my birthday. So you know how I talked about Almanac and how much I loved after I bought my Almanac um, uh, frames from actually the Almanac store or the factory in Estonia. Um, they were selling to the U.S. They have now decided that they have two stores in the U.S. who are going to be their distributors. One is Lindy Stitches and the other one is Hobby House. And, um, and so I chose to buy from Hobby House and I bought another size of, um, rods 
and then I purchased two more different size um, sides, <laughs> tension bars, whatever they're called. Um, so I bought two more. Um, and these were my birthday present from Mr. G, though he doesn't know that yet. But <laughs> And they came yesterday. I was so excited. Um, yeah, so that, I believe, is... And, and honestly, that's not all my haul because um, I have other stuff. I know I have other stuff. I don't know where I put it. Like, I don't know where I put it. So, anyways, it is what it is. Okay, so, um, let's do Spotlight on a Stitcher. Now, I may have shouted them out before, and um, even if I shout somebody out again, it is because they've done something in the last, like, you know, since I shouted them out that I would like to um, talk about, or, uh, they've hit like a fantastic goal or, you know, something that has, um, like kind of like made me go, oh, I would, you know, want to shout them out again. So, um, the one I'm going to do is cross stitch the go globe, goodness sakes, cross stitch the globe. They are sisters, Allison and Stephanie, and, um, they have been doing these university, um, Stitch University, that's what it is, um, style videos, which is really cool. But what, what I started watching, I mean, I've been watching them since I started, but, um, what I really got interested in, in was they were doing like, um, buying things off of Etsy or eBay or like, you know, uh, the cost of things. So one video they did like mirabilias and, or patterns that were, uh, super expensive and OOP and like how much these were going for, um, whether they were on, uh, you know, eBay or, uh, stash on Lowe's. I think they hit stash on Lowe's. Anyways, um, absolutely interesting information to have. And, um, and they also told you like where to go to get certain things like books that are out of print and like how much they are and like why they are that much. Um, it's just, it's fun, but they also do like, you know, their own videos with, um, with their updates and like a normal floss tube video, you know, with the starts, whips, finishes, all the things. And I can't for the life of me, I meant to write it down and I can't for the life of me remember which sister it is. I think it's Stephanie. And if it's Stephanie, it's probably Allison. Cause you know, if I go left, I'm supposed to go right. So, um, one of them does their own, uh, does cross stitch patterns based on her photographs. And oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They're so pretty. So anyways, um, go watch them if you have not already. Uh, they do have a lot of subscribers, so you probably already are watching them and good. But if you missed them and did not know, go watch them. Um, they just put up a video, I think today. I think I saw it come across in my notifications this morning um, uh, that they are doing like uh, what is easier to stitch on, Ada, linen, even weave. And I betcha I have not watched the video, but I think it's going to be your preference, right? So, <laughs> so anyways, uh, congratulations, Stephanie and, and Allison. Um, I really do enjoy your videos. So, um, all right. And of course, everything that I talked about, I will link down below. So it might take me a few days, but, and, and it will probably be piecemeal, but it will get in there. Um, okay. If you stuck with me this long. I have some giveaways um, because it is my birthday and I am turning 55. I do have five patterns, obviously. I probably could find 55, but then we'd be here all day. But, <laughs> but I have um, five patterns that I am going to do in my gifty giveaways. And um, so the first one is, and I'll say a name and all the things like we normally do. 
normal rules apply. Please be 18 so I can mail to your address. Um, what do we do? Don't say giveaway, winner, winnings, all those things. Mm, I said 18. I'll mail it wherever. Are there other rules? You know, one, one per person. Um, and, or one per winner. And, um, what else did I want to say? Oh my gosh. I feel like there was something else, but we all know what the rules are for winning, right? So, okay. Um, this is the Prairie Schooler, the Four Seasons designer series, and this is cardstock. So if you are interested in this pattern, if you would like to say seasons, so with an S, seasons, and you will be entered into that drawing. This is a heart in hand spring fobs. I think this is so cute. Um, and I know that we just missed Easter, but you know, you can do it for next Easter. Super cute. Oh, if you would like to be entered into this one, let's say spring. Ooh, I think I just messed myself up for another pattern, but it's okay, we'll figure it out, spring. <laughs> this one is um by Tristan Brooks Designs and it's Carnations in Bloom. It's really pretty and it comes kitted up. So you're getting some linen, you are getting Pearson silks, you are getting Madeira metallics. Yeah, it's really pretty. So, anyways, uh Carnations in Bloom. Let's say Bloom, B-L-O-O-M, Bloom, pretty. The next one is Tin Toppers by Samplers and Such, and this is June's Honeysuckle Harmony. Look at me being before June. And if you tell me, it'll come to you. Maybe you can have it stitched by June. It's really pretty though. So let's say just June, June, J-U-N-E. And then the last one is by Earth Threads, designed by Betsy C. Steiner. And this is the Acorn Sampler. And if you are interested in this, oh, okay, that picture is just not gonna do it justice. I'm so sorry for the glare. It's beautiful, it's really pretty. Like, yeah, it's really pretty. Um, let's say Acorn acorn all right so plans what are my plans oh my gosh this time next week i will be at the library stitchers retreat i'm so excited i get to meet don marie finally in person she has been an online friend for a long time now and um i can't wait to meet her and meet some new friends. I've already heard that several people I know online um, through through their floss tubes. I don't don't know them, but uh, have watched their floss tubes, and um, they will be there. So I am super excited to meet them, and um, and of course um, the organizers of Library Stitch Retreat. I am so excited to meet all of them as well. And um, they all have floss tubes. And I'm just, I'm just so excited. This will be, um, is this gonna be the first retreat of the year that I'm going to? I think so, yes. And, uh, and I'm just, I'm just so excited. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and what other of my plans? Well, back to Mira Mondays, that's happening. Um, and so you will see some more posts from me, uh, hopefully on Instagram with the hashtag Mira Monday Stitching or Mira Monday. And uh, I am hoping to get a lot more done on that April's Blue Diamond. So she will be a finish maybe in May or June and get a new one started. Um, and then, uh, Mira May is coming up. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we are almost in May, like darn close to halfway through April. And we're 
heading on into May, which means Mira May, and I am so excited about Mira May. There are four Mondays in May this year, and I am, um, and I will do four Miras in the vlog style like I normally do, or have done in the past three or three years, three, four years, I don't even know. Um, and so I'm excited about that, getting busy kidding them up and um and excited to share those with you and um really i need to get this um little house needleworks tea time done so that that should be a finish um yeah yeah i think that that's that's pretty much all as you can see i have a very large yard and um I've got a lot of flowers that have popped up and stuff, but you know, we didn't clean up during fall. We had a lot of storms and um, a lot of the trees blew down, branches and things blew down in the, in the yard and then of course lost their leaves and there wasn't a lot of cleanup um, last year. And uh, so there's a lot of that to do. And I'm having two trees removed, so um, yeah, and a fence built, so there's, there's going to be a couple of things that'll be happening in the next month and, uh, that take my time away from stitching and all the things that I love. So, <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for joining me for my birthday floss tube and for catching up with me. And if you would like to know a little more, there is a stitch and sip video that has a lot more life blabbings on it. And, um, other than that, until we meet again, hugs and stitches to you all.